Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add keyframe animation in your models in Marmoset Toolbag. So you can create really good camera animation in Marmoset Toolbag and render your assets. So this is going to be a very easy tutorial. But before we start, I have a request to you guys. We are so close to reaching 10,000 subscribers on this channel. So please watch this tutorial till the end. And if you like this tutorial and enjoy this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said, let's start our video. So I have imported uh, my assets and did all my lighting in Mamosa Toolbag. So let's add some camera animation. And uh, we are not going to add any extra cameras. I'm just going to add animation to our main camera. So for this to work, make sure you are in the animate section of Mamosa Toolbag. So if you are using any of these uh, setups, just click on this animate and it will show you this timeline. And here you can add the length of your animation. So for this, I'm going to take five seconds. It's not going to be a very long animation. And here you can change the FPS. 30 is fine for this. So to add the animation, click on this keyframes. And here you'll see all the options for your camera. So I'm going to click here and in the transform, I'm going to expand this. And here we are going to add the animation. So this is our initial point. And from this frame, we are going to add keyframes to create the animation. So on the first frame, I'm going to add a key. So just make sure you selected all these transform options and click on this key icon and it, it will add all the keys to the selected options here and uh, for the animation what you need to do is so i'm going to slide this all the way to five seconds to the last frame and i'm just going to manually change the scene of my camera or the position and the rotation of my camera so you can just go to your viewport and just rotate the way you want your meshed look and uh, this should be fine so i'm going to click on this key again and see how our animation is going to be so click here and it's going to add the keys here so let's uh, play our animation so i'm going to click on this icon and we'll move to the first frame and let's play this and see how it looks So this looks very refined. And if you think that camera is zooming too much in this middle part, then what you can do is to get all your assets in the frame. As you can see that uh, this is cutting the view here. So what you can do is you can just uh, split this view into horizontal or vertical. I prefer the vertical and change this one to top view. And just select your camera here. And on this frame, I'll just move this camera a little bit further to the Z axis and add another keyframe here like this. So if you play now, see in this main camera, this is how our animation is going to be. So I'm going to remove this uh, viewport and uh, this is our final animation. So this is pretty decent and uh, I'm happy with the result. So we're going to stop this animation here and uh, to render this, just go to your render settings and uh, do all these changes and you can watch this tutorial on my channel. And to render out this output, what you can do is you can either go to render and click on this all videos. Or you can also press F5, which is a shortcut to the render out the animation. So press F5 and it's going to take a while depending on your hardware and you'll get your animation in a few minutes so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching